Welcome to Radford University's series of Google Sites tutorials. In the previous tutorial, you learned to navigate to Google Sites and create a new site. In this tutorial, you will learn to edit your home page, to add attachments, links, and photos, and to create new pages. To navigate to the site I'll be working on today, I've signed into my Google account, which brings up my iGoogle page. I'm going to click on More and then click on Sites. This brings up a list of all of my sites. The one that I'll be working on today is an English class site. The first thing I want to do is change the heading. So I click on Edit Page, click on the heading box, select the text, and delete it. Now I can enter my own heading. Next, I would like to edit the main content area below the heading. I want to change the layout of this from one column to two columns. I click on Layout and click on Two Columns. This gives me two boxes to work in. In the box on the left, I'm going to insert an image. I click on Insert and click on Image. This brings up my Add an Image box. I can insert an image from a web address, but what I'm going to do is insert an image that I have uploaded from my digital camera. I click on Choose File, click on Photos. This is the one I want. I click on it and click Choose. This lets me know that my photo is being loaded. Here it is. I click on Add image. Now this looks a little big, but I do have editing options. The first thing I'm going to do is change the size to medium. I can also change the alignment. It's left aligned now. I could change it to center or right. But what I'm going to do is left align it and then go up and increase the indent just a little. Now in the box on the right, I want to add a greeting to my class. And I want this to stand out a little, so I'm going to change the font to Georgia. I'm going to click on bold, and I'm going to change the color to a bright red. I also want to center the text. Whoops, I didn't get the red, did I? Or let's try that again. Okay, that time we got it. After making these changes, I'm going to click Save to exit edit mode. If I didn't like the changes, I could click Cancel, and this would take the page back to the way it was since I last clicked Save. I want to add a reminder about an upcoming field trip, so I'm going to click on Comment, and then click on the Comment box. I'm going to type in my reminder. and click on Add Comment. Now anyone else can come in and click on the comment box, add their own comment, and add comment. Next I'm going to use Attachments to add content to my page. Attachments appear as links below the main content area of the page. I want to add a poem of the day for my students to read. So I'll click on Attachments, click on Choose File, going to click on My Downloads, click on Poem of the Day, and click Choose. Now this brings up a link. If anyone wants to read the Poem of the Day, they just click on that link, and that brings up the poem. I also want a place to list information about assignments. So I'm going to click the Create a New Page button. This brings up five different page templates to choose from. The web page is a main page, like the home page. The dashboard 
is a collection of applications and gadgets such as calendars or your Gmail inbox. Announcements creates a blog type page where members can post messages. The file cabinet allows you to store and organize documents and lists contains four different kinds of list pages. The web page template is the default choice and that's the one I want. I'm going to name this page Book Report Ideas. I can put this page at the top level which means it will be a main page like my home page or I can put this page under Mrs. Connor's class which means it will be a sub page of the home page. I want my page at the top level so I'm going to click create page. Now I want to add text to this page. I want to create a bulleted list of book report ideas. I'll add more ideas later, but for now, I'm just going to save the page. I want to add this new page to the sidebar's navigation section, so I'm going to click More Actions, Page Settings, and then I'm going to click Show This in Navigation in the sidebar, and I'll click Save. Now this page is listed with my other main page, the home page, and the sitemap. You can create links to other pages as you add to or edit a page's content. I'm going to add a list of books for my students to choose from for their book reports. So I've clicked on Edit. And I'm typing Book List. Now I'm going to highlight that text because that's where my link will be. I'm going to click Insert Link. I have two choices. I can link this to an existing page in my website or I can link this to a web address and that's what I want to do. So you can type or paste in your URL, your web address. and then click OK. My text has been transformed into a link. So if you want some ideas for a book to do a book report on, you click on that link and that brings up the Internet Public Library. I'm going to save these changes. and go back to the home page. This concludes our tutorial on how to edit your home page, add photos, links, and attachments, and create new pages. In the next tutorial, you will learn to change the appearance of your website and to edit the sidebar. Thanks for watching.